Yo, what's up? This is your boy Postman. You're tuned in to Post in the Diary Room. Welcome to Post in the Diary Room. And as you may know, every day is a good day to get a delivery from the Postman. And of course, if this is your very first time tuning in, please kindly like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever is necessary to engage with the content. Black Layers has released an album that is eight tracks long called Loyal to the Soil. And it consists of a few tracks and it comes after the release of Lost Diamonds 2, which of course was a collab project between or by Black Liz and P.O. The single or one of the singles that came before the release of this project was of course Cancel Culture. And then I think I also need to mention the very first time I came across his music, which was of course on Freedom of Fame alongside Reason and Pro Kid, which was the remix according to my understanding. And then the other joints I liked by Black Liz were of course also uh uh, what one of those joints i think one of those joints is um dmx prayer spooku i have no one the truth about us um and uh, several of his features because i think last year what the song he had with j hood was a contender for verse of the year according to my list that i had compiled so that no one really saw biggest issue with listening to black layers it has to be his beat selection i usually feel like his beats are just bad but to my surprise not really surprising but to my surprise this has managed to make way into this particular project and there is a particular bag that he usually does well in in my opinion which we hear him on songs like being on this particular project on songs like give thanks which in my opinion i felt like the build of this particular song felt like on a pelo moya signed by pro kid but it turned out to be something different where we have these drums that just kick in as the song progresses or goes by and a sample that's is really unique and could be attributed the particular build right could be attributed to pro kids on a pelo moya and then he to- goes on to talk about not having fans but he has disciples and his flow is apparently washing cyclones and there's also a boring hook where he is like, you can cheat life, but you can't cheat death. While on I Speak Life, he reflects on being told that he should never look for handouts. And he also delves deep into the issues that have come with fatherhood as he ages, of course. And then more so, he tells us that his footsteps are covered in glory. Then he further goes on to tell the young kids, or he puts his experience to great use by telling the young kids or the upcoming acts not to surf the internet for cosigns. And if you ask me, this is a really in-depth and very introspective joint, if you ask me in particular. And then he ends it off by just saying that you can't stand the truth if you don't have any spying. And we have a frustration song in Batupele where Black Layers actually takes time to address the narrative of you not relevant, which to me felt like it kind of got to him and he does not like it at all because he further reiterates that he will never be washed out there are hilarious backings on the song cancel culture which sounds like it was a song about black twitter where you know people out there are usually acting like big deals and black lady says they're not doing any deals and in my opinion the most engaging part of that song is when ramona was actually brought forth and she just delves deep into the hypocrisy of everyone on that app because everyone is usually picking sides to stories that they don't even have the full story of if that makes sense i'm sure it does but anyway in any case i actually agree with that because a lot of people on twitter tend to pretend as if they are perfect and they don't have any flaws they don't have any you know and i think the people who are usually at the backhand of the twitter space itself or indeed the celebrities try me features the insanely talented ricky taylor who just handles the hook while black layers is just going off on the side telling us that he's his name is actually coming up in every conversation kokas and he also lets us know that he's self-made while i think this joint is like the best song in this particular project the song is called beach and i think this is one of the songs that 
are usually best suited or this is but this particular cut basically is best suited in my opinion for black layers because there are these brass elements playing around and the song just has something to it where you know black layers is buzzing around you know doing his own thing and i think this is one cut that usually suits him best because he has given us glimpses of it but he's just i feel like he's just never explored it fully and i think now's the right time to do it because it's it's a sound that i think fits him best because he knows what he's doing out there and i think also questa would have been the best sparring partner in this particular joint i think they would have made a ball out of this joint already it is a ball you know and hopefully there is a remix that comes to this joint or after this joint and i think that i would like to hear him and questa on a similar cut just you know, giving us good music, good vibes, and shout out to Black Lace for that. I think Who's It is in line with whatever Binge was because I actually felt like there was a huge energy drop when that came when that song came through. But I'm not mad at it, you know. But I'm actually mad at the sound that was explored on True Say, which features Jay Jody. Because in all honesty, I am actually tired of the sound. I I just feel like this was not the the beat or the sound that needed to be explored by black layers especially for the kind of you know presence that he showcased on this particular joint and i think the person cooking this joint or that was cooking this particular or that's cooking this particular sound is sunday beats and yeah a lot of the guys such as aries and jay jody uh, have been jumping on this particular sound but i don't think this fits into this project anyhow i don't know how it fits in and i don't know what's the key takeaway from the project with this particular song as the outro i do not know where it fits in i do not know what it does the whole album for me was a complete yawn fest i would understand if this was released by an upcoming act or somebody actually fresh in the game or somebody who's just released their first body of work then i would understand but this is not something i would expect from a well-experienced rapper like black les because he does have a beautiful resume and he does have good songs beauty on features and i think this project in particular has no replay value i would spin it once and this is actually a dreadful listen this was a dreadful listen and yeah the eight songs actually felt long and i think in my opinion this project deserves a four out of ten and i would like you guys to listen to the project and actually let me know what you think about this project because yeah it is what it is Tell me, do you like the project? What do you love about the project? Is there a song you would like to spin from the project? Because I would like to spin Binge more than once. I would bump it at a pry. I would bump it wherever. You know, it's a really beautiful song. I love that song so much. But the project entirely, I'm not sure about it. Four out of ten for me once again. Peace and bless. Post in the diary room. Please kindly like, share, subscribe, comment. Do whatever is necessary to engage with the content. And please also check out the videos next to me. I will see you on the next one.